Hi guys, I hope you all had a great weekend. I did, my daughter came out and we ran around and we had some mother-daughter talks. <coughs> That's why I didn't have a video on Friday. So I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to go ahead and finish my decorating in my kitchen today. And I'm just giving you kind of an overview of how it looks. I've taken most of the things off. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of counter space. But that gives me a little bit especially over here at the coffee bar area. And I think that's where I'm gonna start. This is tucked back in a corner next to the fridge in the pantry. So you really can't see it too much from the living room. So I'm just gonna start with a tray. I thought about painting this tray black, but for now, I'm just going to leave it white, I think. And then I'm going to put, let's see if I can put you guys someplace that you can see. Because it's going to take two hands for me to pick up the coffee and my vital proteins. And they fit in the tray perfectly. I wasn't sure if they would, so I'm glad. I'll move them up just a little bit because I'm gonna put some florals back there behind it to brighten this area up. Here is all of our choices. So I'm gonna do some of these darker colors along with some fall maple leaves that I have too. And I don't have to take these out of the tray in the mornings when I need them. All I have to make sure of is that the lids will open. So I can put anything back here that I want because it's not going to get bothered every morning because if that is the way it was going to be, I'd be losing my patience. So I thought this and this on this side, but I really think all of these darker florals here and then I'm gonna put some lighter colored leaves these spread them out I'm gonna put this one back here Fluffing these out more and just using one. Because I just wasn't in love with that. And then adding the leaves. Back here. Next to it. Yeah, I like that better. I like that better. Okay. Done with that for now. I've resurrected my 
salt and pepper. Um, they're not shakers, obviously, but they're salt and pepper holders. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I just like to have them out in the fall and winter. Um, probably because I cook more and I can just reach in there and get a pinch of salt and some pepper. So I'm gonna put that next to the stove. And I've got this over here with a round cutting board already. I like this look. Obviously I need to get some more bamboo. <laughs> that, this is showing up really, really nasty. It's not that nasty in person, I swear to you. So forgive me, but I do need to replace those. So that's gonna happen soon. And I like more wood tones in the, in the fall as well. And I picked this up at Target several months ago. It's a wooden spoon rest. So I'll just put that right there. And let's see. I think we need something back there. And there's, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's already a nail in there that had something else before. So I'm going to take this candle ring and use it like a little mini wreath and put that there just for some color over here. And then that leaves this area that's my butter dish, so that has to stay out. But I may move it. Please don't drop it. I think I might move it over here. With the white salt and pepper thing. And that. So yeah, I like this. I think that's completed. And then I've got this light, this lamp. I'm going to tie that cord up with a bread wrapper tie or something, but I still need to hide this because that looks pretty hideous. So I'm going to take my large cutting board here. Isn't that pretty? I love this. And just kind of set it this way, I guess. Then it doesn't want to stay. I'm afraid that's going to come smashing down. Let's try this. Ah, see? <laughs> Let's try putting this in the corner. It's a little more secure. And then moving the lamp over here in front of the outlet. And then once I get those cords tied up, yeah, that looks good, like that. It's missing a little something, so here's my little baby cutting board. And put that like that. And it needs a little color. Just a little bit of something. What do I have left here? Oh, wait a minute. There's another candle ring, only it's bigger than that one. That might actually look better over here. My allergies are killing me today. Let's 
think I might have to move that nail down because it's too high and I want it to be more there. Yeah. So that's going to have to happen. I'm going to have to get the hammer out. He's going to be thrilled. So that's going to go, I'm just, for right now, I'm just going to hang it right there. And that leaves this still available. I may put that on the stove. That's my warmer burner, but I never use that burner. And I have a candle that I could put. Let's go get it. I went back to vanilla. I got a Better Home and Gardens candle from Walmart the other day. I don't like mainstays candles. They're, in my opinion, trash and they don't burn well. But these do, and I went back to French vanilla. I burned myself out literally on French vanilla for years and years. And I went back to it and I'm really enjoying it. So I can put the wood lid I'm just going to put it on top of the candle. I had it propped up next to the candle. But I'm just going to do that. And then when I want to burn it, of course, I can take the lid off. And if I'm going to be cooking and have a lot of pots and pans up here, I'll just remove the whole thing over to the side. But I think it needed that. So here's what we got going so far over here on this side. I like it. And here. Here is what we have over here. Um, still not happy with that. So, I think I'm going to take this container and put it over there. It also has a wooden lid, so it kind of goes with the whole warm wood theme. these leaves in here because they're bright I'm pull them apart a little bit that looks good but it's not quite full enough I have one more of these. So we'll use this to stick in the front. There. Yeah, I like it. And I desperately need it under the cabinet paper towel holder. I just need to remember to order one. And for the life of me, you guys, oh, here's the coffee bar, final look. If I had a mug tree, I would use it, but I can't find one anywhere. So there's that. And then um, I'm not sure that I showed you guys what I did with my front table. If I did, forgive me. Also this weekend I discovered we have an ant problem. So that's been fun. So I have this, what's that called? Garland. I have that garland for a while. And I also have that, so just dug the candle out and put it in there. And this pumpkin is actually a jack-o'-lantern, but I have it turned back the other way. And have that candle and that one. These two things I found at Goodwill and painted them with white chalk paint and 
roughed them up a little bit. I don't know why this why this what happened? supposed to be. And then down here I just have this pillow. And that is a table runner. This is Hello Fall, but I put it down here because I don't like it on the table. And then I've just got some little pumpkins in there. So that's it. Like I said, if I showed you that before, I apologize because I can't remember what I've done and what I haven't done. And I've been kind of preoccupied with my, my ant problem that's in that front bedroom and the bathroom. So I got some ant traps and I got some bug spray. So, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. But that's how my kitchen is going to be decorated for fall. Oh, I wanted to show you this. You guys have already seen this, I think, but I moved it over here instead of over there. And then I kind of redid my shelves a little bit I put that coffee thing there and the beads kind of match and then just like that so this video is 16 minutes long and I don't mean to take up your entire life so I appreciate you being here leave comments below if you have any questions or you have anything to say or suggestions I'm always open and um, I will see you in the next one thank you